Hey YouTube, it's Glenn here from BJ's Bootables. Sorry for the massive delay in videos. We've m I've moved down to Adelaide now. So we went from the Gold Coast to Adelaide, so that's taken some time to set up. And whilst I still don't have a proper set, we're gonna get some, vid uh, some videos done this week and uploaded uh, as we get set back up. So, one of the one of the losses from moving was my old server case, the big case, fractal design case. Uh, couldn't really fit it in anywhere with the moving, so pulled all the guts out of it, kept that, and ditched the case. So I had to get a new case for myself to make for a new server. Um, so we went with the cheapest I could find. I figured that was a challenge, see if we can make the cheapest case I could find. Uh, it was $39, uh, it's a bit Fenix uh, white case, so we're going to do an unbagging because I had to quickly take it out of the box to put it in this to carry home on my motorbike, uh, but I haven't even really looked at it, so basically we'll do an unboxing here of it, go over the cheapest case we could find um, and then strip it to pieces, see what it's made of and paint it all up nice and that's going to be today's video later this week we're going to do a laptop as well I've got a new laptop coming or like a second hand laptop coming in uh, so when that comes in we're going to do that we're going to do it in a very similar paint theme to this so they're kind of going to match up uh, this one's going to just be the server and the other one will be a bit of a carry uh, video editing machine so excited for that and we'll, we'll get on with this unboxing so it's the bit Fenix and it's white and it costs $39 there was technically a cheaper one a $29 one but it was just atrocious and had no actual fittings or anything in it so I didn't really count that you couldn't really say it was a computer case it was abysmal it just had some red fans on the front of a steel box so we went with the cheapest that was actually usable this has drive bays and stuff in it couldn't find one without a five and a quarter inch bay that because I don't really need it but we have one so uh, later on I'll probably just get a card reader in that for ingesting video off the cameras um, or just a drawer for keeping SD cards and flash cards and tools and stuff in in the server or it just may stay blank um, but all right so here's the unboxing So here we go. We have a bit Phoenix white case. Very basic, but that's what I wanted because I just wanted to give it a paint job and just needed something big enough to hold everything. And yeah, we wanted to see if we can make something out of the cheapest case possible. I thought that was a good good challenge. So let's have a look at what we've got. We've got some very cheap and very, very tight thumb screws. Ah, well, we'll have a look on the outside. It's pretty light, so it's not very, there's not a huge amount of metal in it. Uh, we've got the big bit Fenix logo on the front that will just come off, hopefully, very easily. Uh, one drive bay. It breathes through the side here, so it's supposed to be quiet. Um, which is what I want for just the server. I'm not worried about heat in this one. Um, it isn't an issue with what what hardware's running in there. So we've got basic I.O. It's got a USB 3 and USB 2 reset and whatnot. So we've got a pa side window. I didn't really necessarily want one, but I don't mind that it's back. I think I'm going to paint it in. Um, and just maybe leave like a like a, a porthole or something do something in the middle so it's just like a bit of a view because I don't really want the whole window open uh, at the back we've got removable I believe yeah removable and replacing um, 
uh, slots so we can take them in and out. Uh, and just a flat panel everywhere else. <coughs> so just a flat panel, just the one uh, 120 mil fan in there, I believe, but it can take two more at the front. Um, I mean, yeah, it's, it's thin metal. It's definitely not strong, but we want it to be just basically sit there like that, so uh, it will be quite fine. So let's have a look at this. Yeah, some kind of screw device. To undo these very tight thumb screws that one, they're not actual they're just screws with a bit of thumb bit cheap plastic thumb bit around the outside <coughs> I think I have some better thumb screws so yeah that's just a screw jammed into a bit of plastic <clears throat> so I think we'll find some better thumb screws or like whoever puts the screws back on anyway clip so simple acrylic panel Thick acrylic at least. Uh, not too bad. Can protect it on both sides, which is cool. Uh, inside's black. And we have a manual. So apparently we get 10 times main board screws. Three times mainboard standoffs, six standoffs are already embedded. 16 hard drive screws, four uh, SSD screws, three front panel screws, and a speaker. Cool. So, let's pull it to bits and have a look at what it's made of. Uh, we got some dust filters on the bottom, or a dust filter on the bottom. So, that little plastic soft feet, which is cool, won't scratch anything. We're gonna pop them out, they're screwed in. It is a pretty nice glossy um, powder coat that they finished it with. There's a, no, no, I thought there was a bit of a mark there, but it was just some powder or something. I mean, we're gonna paint all over it, so it doesn't matter. Look at around here, a little bit of uh, cable routing room. Uh, there's not a lot of space behind it. It's a little bit bent in the middle there, but yeah, that's where it was tight. Um, cable routing, we've got tools, little clip-ins for the, some of the drives. Just one. So yeah, out of, out of most of the cheap cases, most of the cheaper ones are obviously micro ATX. Um, so I wanted an ATX one that could take <clears throat> at least a few drives this can take. Uh, four hard drives and two SSDs and a quarter inch and I think you could you could jam more in there so um, that's what I wanted for just a server so that it's just able to hold everything um, and hopefully I might upgrade later the network on this to 10 gigabit um, when I get the new house and network set up there. We'll see what we can get organized. We've got our usual USB 3 audio, USB on, off, and a LED. A bag of screws. We have a speaker. We have 
Right, four, five, six cable ties and all the screws they described earlier it looks like. So hard drive case in there. So it's only got the one set of uh, quick release uh, lock-ins um, and the rest is going to be screwed in so that's you know a cheap case. You could probably pick up some other form of lock-in somewhere and put them in. Um, there's a good amount of room in there for what you want like even if you wanted to put other stuff there's not a lot of room for a radiator um, so it's not really water cooling cable but you can put a 120 mil in the back there um, or you could probably strap something else in somewhere you could stick another 120 mil down there if you wanted to go nuts or you might just be able to squeeze a 240 in at the front it does take two 120 mil fans so there's a chance you could squeeze one in there but I doubt it it's just yeah but it's supposed to just be quiet because I breathe through here. We're just probably going to go with the one fan. Um, although I might just dig out another one and stick it in the front anyway. Um, because might as well. Uh, they can just run up low speed. And let's see what else we can unclip. Everything else is what, pretty much one piece. No, that's screwed in, screwed in, not riveted. Yeah, so that's all riveted in. And take the front off. Hmm. Plastic rivets. <clears throat> I think it has clips and plastic rivets, so I'll have a look and try and work that out. The reset button needs to be pushed in all the way to engage, which is good, I guess, for can't accidentally hit reset. The power button's pretty normal, so that'd be pretty easy to hit. Um, yeah, if you're going to plug something in, you could definitely hit that easily and switch it all off. So yeah, overall, $39. It's got a fan. It's simple um, and it should come up quite nicely. So <clears throat> depending on your needs, out of the cheaper cheaper cases for an ATX case, this was definitely um, one of the better options. Um, just as a white case, it would work pretty easily anywhere as a server, just in a cupboard or something, it would kind of disappear. But we're gonna go with some chrome and black and anodized purple and do it up that way. So I think that will come out pretty cool. Uh, I'm gonna work out what these little rivety plastic bits are. If I don't have to break them, I won't, but they sort of mushroomed out one side with a clip as well. So I'm gonna sit down and finagle those out, unscrew the bottom and then pull the rest apart and when I've got it all in pieces um, and pick up with the next bit so back in a sec so it turned out to be simple they, would, they weren't mushroomed or pinned it was just they kind of look like it they're just located so as soon as I unclipped one the whole thing just came straight off so that's it there's some kind of weird brown staining on the back of the drive panel which is, I don't know, strange, but anyway. And just everything screwed in there. And I think we can pop it all off as one panel. So none of that shows through anyway, except the button. So we can paint all the rest separately and yeah.
Not that. <clears throat> the front, there's your spot for uh, two 120 mil fans. So, I mean, you could rip that drive cage. You could rip that drive cage out there, and then you'd be able to probably fit a radiator in. Or well, you might even have to take that part out. So it probably wouldn't be worth it, but you could, I mean, you could probably clear all that out and put a 360 mil in here, but everything is riveted together. So, not too hard a job to pull apart, but at some point you'd lose structure. But other than that, it's not too bad, it's lightweight. It's not gonna take a huge amount of ba ba bashing up and beating, but it's, decent and I would have liked to I, know, I guess it doesn't matter I was trying to work out colors and I was going to take the top off and do something but none of that's visible anyway because of the panel so I'll do the top with the panel so yeah um, there's no like edge bit so sweet and that should make that easy other than that pretty basic case but it will do exactly what we need 39 bucks and the paint costs more than the case so let's see what it comes up like I'm going to do some prep work and yeah strip the last bits out so back in a second <laughs> 